Hello everybody, my name is Karen Fire and welcome back to Canon Exiles. Today I have another video on our mystery. There has been some new things that have cropped up and a brand new teaser to look at. And here we go, here's the next teaser. It says, later still in another place, a courier hands you an ornate scroll bearing the mark of an officer. Upon further inspection, there is the arrow symbol that we found last time in another image. As you can see, it's there once more, which means this could possibly be by the same person. You have the crosshair with the arrows, perhaps that is compass arrows. Someone did say that maybe the symbols on some of the images look like North, East, South and West. However, I was trying to look for the symbol of North and couldn't find that, so I'm a bit sketchy on that idea. However, when you are looking for North, East, South and West, you do tend to get these kind of symbols either way. So it could be a compass, could be something like that, and then you have the arrow symbol. So perhaps that's the certain thing, person, whoever wrote this note, symbol of kinds, which by Conan's post would be the officer. So you got this very nice looking scroll here. And on the scroll, it says, Only two of our scouts returned. They are in shock and keep sputtering the same warnings over and over. They cannot be killed. Beware of the totems. That cursed mist. So again, we're going over mist and totems. And this time they said they cannot be killed. So this is not just obelisks. There is a them involved. There is a something out there to do with the totems slash obelisk thing <laughs> that is a something so we already know totems missed and now there's apparently something to do with those that have something that cannot be killed so that's a bit like huh what's that about who's they you know so the note continues as one of the scouts managed to bring with her some strange garments they are tattered robes decorated with cult-like symbols beyond the ken of Mitra's priests. They reek with the putrid scent of dead man. We still have not heard from our eastern pathfinder, who has now been missing for several moons. I fear these are grave matters. We must mobilize our forces immediately. And then again, you've got that bloody fingerprint and the arrow. Bow and arrow is there again. Now, we did have a bloody fingerprint again on here, whether this is a marking of someone's or what. There is another one there, or maybe just, a, you know, it's there again. There's several bloody fingerprints on here. And handprints even, you can see the fingers going up and down. So I am very curious what those are about. And this note definitely adds some more questions to the pile on what will be coming. So... For sure, we know there's actually something involved this time. It makes me think that they're releasing another DLC, you know? It'd be crazy if they've just released into the Nemedian one and they're releasing another one, which makes me think it's probably not that um, because that would be way too close together. I don't think they've ever released a DLC that close together. I would definitely be surprised if that was the case. It's got to be something else because um, that's just, like, not viable, really. <laughs> Otherwise, they're just like, hey, Christmas present. Woo. <laughs> I really like John's comment on this, which was uh, it's a secret Santa grotto where you have to kill all his little helpers and fight Santa to get his treasure. I really like that idea. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be a thing, but imagine that would be absolutely hilarious. There's another comment I really like by Mike M, which is looks like someone had that map piece of paper as an original all clean or whatnot they fold it up and went to explore and there was like some kind of treasure hunt going on and maybe they died or something and now it's all covered in blood the creases are from folding it and putting it in their pocket kind of thing maybe it's something like that that could be really cool maybe you need to go around the exile lands with a shovel and dig up things because that's already a thing in game you know there's a grave digger shovel you go up dig a digging things on September. maybe we have to dig up christmas presents and get coal you know <laughs> maybe something like that would be really really cool but who knows okay i found something out really exciting i've been searching through the public test live files so you know in your admin panel and public test live i've been looking through just scrolling through and seeing if there's anything new and lo and behold there is some new things in here one of them being the scroll the parchment we saw in the teaser 
is in test life right now right here it's the exact same scroll as you can see with the top ball parts it just doesn't have a message on it um i don't, don't think you can oh you can write on it i don't really think does it add anything much <laughs> F, 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 F. it doesn't have no text on there there's no bow and arrow or anything but there is definitely that parchment so that is very curious there's also another parchment and then there's these conspicuous bits of furniture covered in cobwebs and what the hell is this a cauldron full of eyeballs and blood that is absolutely disgusting <laughs> but really really curious and it has faces on it and then this stuff is dusty kind of furniture you got bookcases tables and all sorts and then something even more curious you know how that parchment mentioned something about robes and cultic stuff well there seems to be a new armor kit in here too skelos cultist master's hood bonus survival medium set very curious let's put it on have a look at it on the uh, female model so this is a new set of armor that we've never seen before look at the mask it's well creepy you can see the set snakes on this armor and oh my goodness my boobs <laughs> so you can see there's a lot of set symbols there's some set symbols on my boots there is the skelos kind of cultist uh, wear but it is very slightly different so this is interesting can this have something to do with the teasers we've been seeing on twitter and conan socials um, but this is definitely a really big breakthrough on what this might be. We know now that maybe whatever is coming includes these items because these are very brand new items. They were not in the test live kit before. So very, very interesting. What does this mean? So we now have confirmation that this might be something to do with set. So maybe not Defari maybe not sumerian maybe it does have something to do with snake men after all perhaps because you have you know skelos snakes i mean my helmet has fangs on it <laughs> snakes all over it so maybe the people are set or the serpent men are like causing trouble for the other factions of people or doing something to the other factions of people of which include being able to get these items or something or maybe this is something like twitch drops or something but questionable don't you think <laughs> very very weird forgotten abandoned parchment questionable those are the names that come around so perhaps it could be a dungeon as well maybe we are looking at a new kind of set dungeon or something to get these items and this armor and maybe something else i don't know very curious but it wouldn't be far-fetched because usually if you find things that are lost and forgotten and abandoned and decrepit they would usually be in cellars and dungeons and things like that so maybe we're looking for clues to find an entrance to a dungeon or something could it be that could it be that that would be in extremely interesting like if it's something like that um, perhaps we're looking for clues around certain areas we've seen in the pictures to find the dungeon entrance or something like that that would be extremely interesting if it is something like, oh, like that or something else but then it's also leaves the question of what about the totems or is there like totems around the dungeon entrance or perhaps the only way to get into it is when these totems arise or something like that let me know what you think on that idea um i think that's a pretty pretty decent idea with things being forgotten, decrepit and abandoned and questionable. And then seeing this armor and being like, what? Where are you going to get new items from? New items usually come from DLCs or dungeons. A lot of you also mentioned one of the images that like it was from the Mounds of the Dead. And it does seem like that would be so. It is indeed in the Mounds of the Dead. Someone actually has an exact image. And the Conan devs actually replied to this as in, 
this person who commented on Twitter had the exact right images they needed for two of the images. We're just missing one of them as far as I know so far now. So the person's name is Bill in the Flanks and they said, is this correct? I failed to find the third. And they have an image that is, looks exactly like the picture. They have a tree stump, they have the two pillars and a tree. That looks exactly like it does on this image here. As you can see, tree, two pillars, trees in the background. We're just missing whatever that log thing is. Then we have the other image, which is this image, which is the gateway to the Defari Cannibals area. So that's actually a really interesting place to go. And one of the people from the social team on Connexel said, very good. These locations seem to match with the representations brought forth by the scouts. Although something seems missing. What are we missing? What are we missing indeed? So those images seem to be correct and confirmed by the peeps. And indeed they do look like those kind of that kind of gateway you can 100% see it um what are we missing though we're definitely missing whatever this thing is i think because in that image of whatever they were showing before and i'm gonna travel there to double check there isn't like a tree stump that looks exactly like that um there seems to be that suspect kind of thing and in this image i'm trying to see if there's like anything resembling the other picture that might be different it looks pretty samey. I don't see too much difference. It just, it definitely makes you wonder though, what is missing? So here we are at the Mounds of the Dead location. People were suspecting that was the thing. As you can see, very much like so, you have the tree, you have the building and the other building and the pieces are actually exactly in line. And then the thing we're missing is going to be in between the dry tree and the image and the small house. So there is going to be something about this size here that we are missing. What is are we missing? I would think it would be very weird to stick another obelisk here in comparison to having the obelisk over there. That would be very weird indeed. So there's going to be something here maybe, like right here that may be different or maybe we have to dig something for treasure like that person was saying or something else because that's the only thing missing in the image that weird long looking strange i don't know thing <laughs> totem maybe is what they were saying isn't it totem is something they're trying to get across especially with this new squirrel teaser image um totem of what though what does this totem have to do with the other stuff so, okay, I'm going to go to the other um, place now and have a look at that area and see if we can see anything that's maybe totem-like. Oh, yeah, and if you wanted to check it out for yourself, uh, it's right here on the map. So you can go to the Cursed Mound right here where my player is. Have a look around for me if you do want to join in on this uh, Discovery Fun. See if you can find anything resembling a totem or something weird like that. Maybe there is something hidden around the place. Um, that hints towards this. Maybe there's a note somewhere. I don't know. I've had quite a thorough look around. I can't seem to find anything. But this is definitely the location we need. It's just what we need, where, and what is this going to be. Coming to our next location, this is pretty much it. It looks very, very similar from what I can see um, from the orange image. So this is the next place. So this is both on the exiled lands, so I don't know if maybe the first image is on Sipta or if it's all on the exiled lands or what, what we're looking for anyway. But it's exactly the same. I couldn't see too much difference from both images if there was anything different in between the two. But then again, have a look around, see if you can find anything. Um, but it definitely looks uh, very similar to this image. I definitely think this is a place, especially with this pillar. Um, it's very, very similar. And having the Conan devs actually confirm that's what we're looking for, um, this is the place, uh, definitely tells you something. So something here, that's very curious. This is Defari, right? So what would something, what we're looking for, what would corruption do with the Defari? Like, are, there cor uh, are the Defari getting corrupted or something? Like, what is happening? <laughs> I have no idea. What does Totem's purple mist and people have to do with the Defari? I mean, they definitely... Oh my god, could it be Yog or something? Oh god. I just had a thought. <laughs> it was not a good thought. Could it be Yog or something? Oh goodness me. That'd be pretty crazy. I don't think so, though. 
mate i don't know what do you guys think i'm i'm so confused all this puzzle stuff is crazy but i mean yog does have purple mist when he comes out of his hole right well i suppose it's more bloody but it does it does have kind of a plum tinge to it um so it could be something like that so maybe the people in the scroll are defari maybe the defari are up to something but then again the other place was with the whites and the sumerians so that makes you think are they involved also in whatever is going on very very open for speculation who knows <laughs> but anyways let me know what you think it's always fun to find out what you guys are thinking on the subject as well i'm really enjoying this riddle solving and finding clues and working together as a team to try and figure out this puzzle. But anyway, thank you for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.